a good documentary is where you get taken on a, a journey. You get to um, go on a trip with real people in real situations, hopefully filled with lots of surprises and, uh, and teaching you something about life. When you're thinking about making a documentary, when you're starting the process, what are your first thoughts in terms of what subject matter you may pick? When you pick a subject matter for a documentary, you want it to be able to keep growing. Uh, you want it to, uh, it, it can't just have the beginning, middle, and an end. That you, if you start out with something and it doesn't change, I think you're going to be in big trouble. Uh, I think you have to feel like there's room for it to keep growing as you go, to take you to these unexpected places. Does a good documentary have a strong point of view or a point of view that allows people to determine what they feel the documentary is yeah. saying? I don't think there are rules as to what a good documentary is. Uh, Michael Moore makes films with strong points of view and some of them are great films. Um, I, I think Food Inc. didn't have a particularly strong point of view, uh, or at least not an obvious strong point of view, but it led people to come up uh, and hopefully be moved by what they're seeing. I, I didn't start out with a preconceived point of view. I don't think you have to have an absolute sort of lock. Um, I think you can learn things as you go from subjects, but also you can be decide you can decide where you're going ahead of time as well. Um, so again, I don't think there are rules, but I think you have to figure out how to tell that story in a really compelling way. Well, then let's talk fooding for a second. What led you to the thought process this would make a compelling film? I was curious to know where our food came from, you know, how it got to our plate. It all seems like such a mystery. It's this, uh, you know, it's pretty extraordinary that every day we have these three meals, like someone, you just brought me this lovely little meal. Where did it come from? Uh, that we take it for granted. Um, and you know, so much of human existence has been getting calories in front of us. Uh, so I thought it would be really interesting to look at this food system, a system that we've become sort of removed from. Uh, lots of people don't even know that, you know, your chicken McNugget comes from a chicken. Uh, we've become so removed that I thought it was, you know, it would make a compelling story. But the story kept changing as we went. Uh, it was a very different story that we finished with than I had started out with. In Food Inc., we probably have about eight, ten companies that didn't let us in. In reality, we probably had a hundred companies that didn't let us in, or you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 f chicken farmers who didn't let us in. So it was one after another of people rejecting us. And I think for me, you know, I didn't want the litany of rejections to be what the story was. Uh, but at the same time, there was a certain anger that developed in me as a filmmaker that we were being denied access to where our food came from. And that started to feel like a large part of the story. And we had to then figure out how to tell it. And we added pieces that we might not have used otherwise. What would you say to somebody who's interested in becoming a documentary filmmaker? What would your advice be? I think you have to find stories that you're going to be able to live with. You have to know that there are times where you think the story's not working and you have to persevere and stay with it. Um, you have to hopefully have something that's exciting and interesting enough to keep going with it. Uh, and be open to where the story takes you. It's like working with a piece of wood, you know. The grain might take you to surprising places. Go with it. Don't resist it. Um, tell that whole story.